Hey guys and welcome to the Derby Crew Mode Live episode number 34 and in this episode we are going to make some inquiries and uh, scouting reports because the January trends window is about a week away so um, obviously we need to know what we're going to get. There are a lot of players on the shortlist, some players that you guys did suggest of course so we're probably going to end off this episode just before the Sheffield United game. So we've got like five days in that window. Hopefully we can maybe even make a signing straight away. That'd be quite interesting to see if we can do that. Currently we are in six in the table only a point off like getting into the top uh, four again so i'm not really worried especially when we've got a lot of cups all at once like we've got capital one cup fa cup europa league and of course the league so we're in four things at the moment and we still have a good chance of winning the prem so there's no real issue there there's plenty of time to uh, get the points that we need so we're gonna go into our first game against manchester city at home a fantastic way to kick off this episode and um I think we'll just play a best lineup because obviously the games are quite nicely spaced out and um, I do want to kind of try out Ince on the right hand side but at the same time, I don't know, the thing is with Eunice he's not scored enough, I think he's only got three goals and he basically started every single game but I really like him, that's the only issue so I don't know if I should maybe put him into the middle and then change the formation to a 4-3-3 um, with the centre mid and the two DMs, maybe we could do that. I think, I think against Manchester City that could help. So we're going to do that. Drop out. I don't know. I kind of want to keep these two in. I think we'll drop Hughes. It is a bit of a shame we are dropping Hughes, but for this game, I think we need a lot more defensiveness. I know Eunice isn't the most uh, defensive, but uh, Goretzka's actually got quite good, surprisingly. Um, for a right mid, he's got about 70 defending, which is not bad. He's quite physical as well. So I think that's the line that we'll go for. Hopefully in the second half, we can maybe bring on Hughes and uh, Deli Ali, Talisa, and loads of fantastic players on the bench. So there's no worry there. So let's get into this game and see how we do. Here is the City lineup. I don't know if that's Brian Ruiz or not, the number 30 there. Yaya Torre, Scott Sinclair, Fernandinho, Milner, Clichy, Nastasic, Mangala. Zabaleta, e Johansson, the goalkeeper, I'm not too sure who that is, and there's quite some interesting ones on the bench, there was like um, company and so a few of the very good players. Oh, go on Ince, can you get this goal straight away? Yes he can, what a goal son, literally. We kept the ball from kickoff, we had a nice bit of possession, a nice triangle passing between Eunice, Yukan and Goretzka, find Ince, cut inside, hit it in the post and... Um, yeah, great start to the game. Clichy just so much space and then I think it was Nasazic just got draw, uh, drawn across by Eunice there and then a really nice goal to kick off this game. That was what we needed because against Manchester City, very tough opposition and um, just gives us the up in the game. But it'll be interesting to see how Goretzka does at CDM, but there's a bit of space here. The shot's gone. Oh, it's, I think that's Fernandinho, like playing at like left wing or something, but um, I think the shot from Jackson Martinez was a little bit too much. For Sillison, that's the one little... There's two things about Sillison. His catching could be a lot better because he's not the tallest. He's not the most big goalkeeper, if you know what I mean. But his uh, reactions and saving, he does always like get a hand to it. Obviously, not that rebound there. But um, I don't know. Bit of a frustrating goal to concede straight away after concede, uh, after scoring our first goal in the game. Yaya's got a ball into the box here. Come on. No, Sillison. Ooh. Get it out. No. No, that's not a penalty, surely not. Eunice there. And it is Brian Ruiz as well. Oh no. Maybe this was a bit of an issue, playing Ruiz at like centre mid. I do want him in the middle, that's the only thing with Eunice. Um, he's not as effective out wide, but... Oh, like, he kind of grazed his knee. Like, he kind of got the ball first, but at the same time I can see how... It is a penalty. This is annoying because... We don't want to lose this game because I think we did actually... Did we lose the last episode game? I'm not too sure, but we might still save it. No, we won't. <laughs> I, was, I was just saying now, we should sub on uh, Tim Krull now because now we've got Sillison and goal, obviously, in the World Cup. Mr. Louis Van Hal brought on Tim Krull, saved the penalties and uh, got him into the semi-final, but not that time. Come on, Sillison. No. S tackle. Oh, fucking... Joke, this is a oh well annoying. Like I don't know why Sillison that tackle is really good for Moria, but I don't know, just really frustrating. Like how oh, went under his legs as well. Like so unlucky this game. We've just given away silly little things and 
lost the game there. Really frustrating way to start this episode, and um, it kind of shows that Abubakar is is just terrible. Like he didn't even do a single thing. We had to take him off, get Ings on. Ings maybe wasn't the best, but at least he's he's only on like 15, 20 grand a week. Bubakar is on 90 grand a week. That's just stupid money for a player that's not doing anything. So we're definitely going to look into getting a new striker. And if there is anything there, we're definitely going to go for it. Because at the moment, we've had literally no luck with Abubakar. So in the last episode, we did actually do some scout reports there for Merkel, who was previously ours. He's now a 79 worth 7 million. That's really frustrating. Like, the second we sell him, he just shoots off in uh, ratings and stuff. James McCarthy's a potential replacement in the uh, CDM slot. Everton are currently in the relegation zone, so potentially we could look into getting him, and um, it'd be a really good signing. So let's go into our next game against West Brom at home in the clear. I don't know. I, I want to just um, I want to just drop a Bubakar, but. It says he's got like an up arrow, but he's not performing well, so that's the annoying thing. So what I'm going to do is drop Jarvis, he wasn't anything in that game, so I'm going to put Eunice on the left, maybe cutting inside might help him, he is right footed obviously, same with Ince being left footed cutting inside. Um, I don't want to make too many changes, that's the thing sometimes, you can mix it up too much and you lose some of the little qualities in the team, so we're just going to keep that line up and see how we do. Here we go Eunice, come on. There we go, beautiful little plays. Gone past a couple of players now. I'm going to cut inside, have a shot. That's a great goal. That is a really nice goal. That's it's good to see that on the left-hand side, you can just um, go a little bit more space because Mings is a little bit more defensive. I think um, Aurier's got high-high. Maybe Mings has got medium-medium, so he's got quite a bit of space out there. And he's just worked into the box and um, got a really good goal for us. Hopefully, we don't do what we just did in the last game and get the early goal and then not really do much so let's put the uh, foot down and hopefully get a second oh Valencia oh he's got the goal I might get a booking for Rio there as well I was just trying to get a last it's challenging but their attack is really good they've got Kramaric who I think is about a 78 maybe a 79 and a Valencia I think maybe a 76 both have got like 85 plus pace so Seventh goal this season. I think abubakar has got eight, um, but Kramerich I think has got about twelve. So a lot of attack in this team, and um, hopefully we can get a second because we've got a free kick here, and um, maybe we can get something from it. So I'm going to take the free kick with Ince as he's got like a quite a nice stance and I'm just going to put it over the wall, put it into the corner and that is a fantastic free kick from Tom Ince there, really nice goal. It is a bit of a shame he's only got 70 free kick accuracy but the um, like the free kick style he has, it's the one that I can score with the most, like you've, if you've got a good angle to it I can just get it up and over the wall and into the corner and get a really nice goal. Come on Jarvis, it's against Les Scott, you got to just take the ball past him, hit it as soon as you can. There we go, 3-1. Pretty much game over. I'm probably going to just put it on defensive now and just hold off for the last few minutes because their attack at the moment, like, from about the 60th to the 75th, they literally held the ball just on the edge of our box and it was really tense. So getting that goal on the counter-attack, that's really good. Nice to see Jarvis come off the bench and make a difference as well. He's obviously had his big injury at the start of the season, but um, since coming back, he's not really played that well in that left mid position. So I'm potentially going to look to replace him with Wyman and um, that would be nice to know because obviously Wyman um, potentially a derby player by the time this video is out and that's the full term whistle there a nice way to get back into the uh, top four I think maybe it depends on the other results obviously so 3-1 and um, none of the goals from Abubakar again what a surprise he's just been dreadful absolutely dreadful this season it's it's really frustrating because we could have done so so much better let's just look at him on the scout report quickly to see how many goals he's got in how many games and um 11 in 21 that's just no no not good enough it's a goal every other game in the league and then three in the euro league and that's not the most difficult especially when you look at the teams we've got so definitely going to look to replace him in this january transfer window so let's get into this let's see what the board is saying it's just all that stuff about, oh, depending on the contract and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, let's go put some bids on some of the players that we've scoured. Here's our shortlist. We've got a lot of strikers here. So, if you just look on screen, I'm going to put, like, some 
bids on some of these players. Some of them are like backup strikers. Um, I don't think we'll be able to get Lacazette. Um, maybe we could get Morata. Um, I think I'm going to remove Zikovic as well. I don't really like him. I played before with him, and he's not my kind of guy. We want someone different with a bit more ball control, like Eduardo Eduardo Vargas, uh, Chuba Mating, Wyman as well. So we're gonna, just going to put some bids on these and see what comes back. So going into our final game of the episode, it is against Swansea. You are probably like my Premier League team if I supported one because they're not in England, so technically I'm supporting a Welsh team, which is uh, a little loophole I like to go through. And um, I think I think they're just a really nice team. They play really good football, and we're going to put Ince into the first team lineup again because she played fantastically in the last game. I kind of want to drop Goretzka, but yeah, we'll bring up Tolisso, put Tolisso at CDM, play you can a little bit further up, see how that ha happens. And this is basically the, like the last games of these two. And if they don't work, then I'm I'm just going to get rid of them because they've just been absolutely woeful um, this season. And um, I am really tempted to put Ings in, but he, he doesn't really work from the start. If he comes off the bench, he can get a goal. If he starts, he can't. So let's see how we do. Let's go into the lineups now. We got Swansea's here. We got Zoe and Gold, Norton, Williams, Bartley. I think Bartley's a glitch player. Goes up like an 85 or something. Taylor, Cork, Shelby. Sigurdsson, who we have got on our transfer list, um, uh, scout reports thing, and uh, Jurgensen, the striker as well. We've got him on our shortlist as a potential signing because he could be quite good. Oh, corner boo car. Let's work something. Come on. Score. No. That's a penalty, isn't it? Yes, it is. There we go. I think you're like, have you really just missed the ball and fallen over? I thought he was actually going to send him off there as well. So he is on yellow for the last like um, three quarters of the game, obviously. So. That means we can potentially get through a lot more now, and um, yeah, let's see if we can score this penner. So into the penalty we go. I don't know who actually has the best penalty stats, so let's have a quick look. 76 for a Bubakar. We'll give him some good confidence if he does score it as well, so I'm just going to go bottom right. And we put it away. There we go. Good goal. And um, I don't know. I still want to sell him. He's just... He's, oh, his touch is just phenomenally bad like I could probably pick Connor Salmon and Connor Salmon probably doesn't have as bad touch so it just shows how fast he is but like the fastness kills his touch completely with Matty Jarvis he hasn't he had loads more pace before I'm sure <laughs> now that he's getting older he might be losing it come on run into the box there we go Ince come on son if this there we go 2-0 nail in the coffin three points on the board it's been a little bit of an annoying episode, like we started off um, against City, obviously with um, double Diz league goals, I, did we get four? I can't remember, how many goals have we got this episode with Ince, but yeah, that's really good to see Ince, he's come in, he's filled that right mid position, hopefully he starts growing as well, it's like been ages since he went from, uh, I think it's been like two seasons or something. And that's the full time whistle there, nice three points on the board against a very tough team actually in Swansea, their striker. Very good, Jurgensen. Again, Abubakar, he did score the penalty, but he didn't really do anything. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to look into selling him during this January transfer window. There are a lot of players that we could potentially replace him with. There's like Remy, maybe Ibra. That's that's a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe we'll see. So, Jarvis has been accepted. We've got Jarvis for Wyman accepted. That is really good to see because... I think that's the kind of play we need. We're going to put important first team player. 40 grand a week. I think that's actually cheaper than Jarvis as well. So that would be a really nice signing. Jurgensen for a Bubakar has been accepted. Amazing. But we need to change the um, transfer budget over to wages as we've only got it in uh, money. So we're just going to put that down to... Uh, we'll put it down to 50. Um, 25. So let's go seal up this deal here for Jurgensen after his contract has been accepted. I'm not too sure of his full overall, but his stats look incredible. So we've also put a bid in here for the backup left back position of Luke Garbutt. I think that's a really nice option just for the cup and stuff like that. We're going to put him as a squad rotation player. He's in bad form, but his morale is very happy. So um, maybe we can get him into the next game against uh, Sheffield United. It's only in a couple of days, so we'll have to see. A few more players that we put bids in for. I would really want to get a few of these players as well. And Musa Sissoko for Deli Ali has been accepted. But unfortunately, we haven't quite got the wages. I'm not too sure why as well. We have had Zlatan Ibrahimovic for Abubakar accepted. But his wages. 
So we're either going to have to ask for some money off the board or sell a few players. So and I think we're going to ask for some money because let's have a quick look at our current objective um, for the season because I think we are pretty much hitting them. So here are our objectives. Finish mid-table, reach the quarterfinals of that and basically we have to win one game in the Euro League. I'm going to have a quick look and see who we got because if we have a pretty good opponent then I could see us going through we've got Benfica now that is a tough one um I don't want to say like oh I can get to the semi-final because they're, they're good but I'm I'm probably able to beat them if I have Ibrahimovic that's the thing I think I, I really need to ask for some money off the board and I think it's gonna have to be a substantial fund amount for what I'm asking anyway. Um, cup, we've reached the semi-final, so I'll put that because I don't want to put final and then lose out on it. Qualify for Euro League, I think. I think we'll do that as well. I don't think we're gonna get any lower than the Euro League qualification, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, seven point five million. I'd be happy with that because that money would not only get a zebra it would get someone else very very good so that would be a really nice deal and we've had the 7.5 million accepted they can only give us 7.3 that's basically the same so we're going to accept that i think we can get to the semi-final if we do get ibrahimovic so let's put the deal in and see if he can come to us if you just said i can't wait to show you guys the next episode if you can smash over 25 likes that would be absolutely fantastic i've really enjoyed doing this series and uh, I must say that the win the transfer windows are the most exciting bit because you don't know if you're gonna lose a player, you don't know if you can get this amazing player. And we've got loads of games in this episode. Uh the next episode, sorry, uh, really exciting ones, obviously. FA Cup, Capital One Cup semi-final, plus the Newcastle game, and then maybe the Tottenham game. I'm not too sure, I'll decide later. So yeah, smash over 20 likes, uh 25 likes, sorry, and um yeah, see you soon. Bye.